Ayo, and welcome back everyone to Hossa Cards for this week's video of Tops Tuesday. Starting off the week with an online exclusive from Tops that was a modern take on a vintage classic as I tear into waves one through four of the Tops online exclusive 1951 Tops by Blake Jameson. First, though, I uh, just wanted to give a quick thank you to everyone who was able to make it out to the live stream this past Sunday. It was an absolute blast for everyone on the panel, myself included for sure, uh, and it definitely seemed like everyone in the chat was having a great time too. So thank you again to everyone who made it out and everyone who has watched the replay since. Also over the weekend, I noticed I hit 2,000 subs, so big thank you to everyone out there who has supported and continues to support my channel. I'll be doing three additional giveaways next week as a big thank you for 2,000 subs. So definitely stay tuned for that coming up. And again, thank you all so, so much. Okay, now back to the Blake Jameson cards here. But first, a quick rundown of what to expect. Let's pull one of them up front. There we go. As you can see right on the front of the box, you get 13 cards per box. That is it. One pack per box. 52 cards total between the four waves. I picked all four off of tops.com maybe a month ago or so uh, for 21 44 a piece so 85 76 total for these four boxes uh, as you can see on the back they have started to signify which wave it is too uh, so they learned a lesson from their t206 boxes and this is honestly what it kind of reminds me of uh, no autos are guaranteed in these at all actually no autos period in these uh, they were sold separately online through tops they do have parallels in here randomly inserted uh, but sadly nothing guaranteed kind of feels like that might have been a misstep uh, they're really hard to find. I think I was calculating it beforehand. It's like one in every five or six boxes have a parallel. Uh, for 20 apiece, you'd kind of like at least one. No autographs or relics in the series at all. And I think just by looking at the checklist, only one Cleveland player too as well. Make sure I have wave one here to start off. <laughs> Time to see if I got lucky and hit a parallel in any of these boxes somehow. Let's do this. Here we go. And I definitely forgot to cut these. So we're going to have to get knife up in here. Come on, knife. There we go. <laughs> Put knife to the side for next one. Wave one. Let's see what we've got going on in here. See if I got lucky and hit a parallel, too. That would be, uh, that'd be very nice. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we've got. So this time, yeah, as you can see, it's going to be very similar to the T206s, if you remember those. But this time they put these in there. So very nice. I'll take that. Uh, the parallels in here are going to have different colored backs. So you can almost tell right away. I'll try not to spoil it in case I do hit one. Uh, but if I had to guess, I am probably not going to hit any, is what I would have to guess. <laughs> the starting us off here, there we go. Super small. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Mike Trout starting us off. Here is what the back looks like. That is what a base back card will look like. Mike Trout, nice start for sure. Probably the best card in wave number one. Willie Mays next up. Duke Snyder, so a lot of throwbacks in wave one, especially all the rookies are in wave four. Babe Ruth, Cal Ripken, the Iron Man. Javi Baez, a modern player. Greg Maddox, one of the greats, pitcher. Albert Pujols, uh, definitely going to be a Hall of Famer. George Brett, shout out to JPN, there's his boy. Jordan Alvarez, not his rookie card. These came out in 2021, so the rookie cards are all 2020, or 2021, duh. <laughs> Wade Boggs, the chicken man. Hey, I might have to send that out to him. Oh, man, I think I just sent to him Juan Soto and RIP Tom Seaver. So there you go. There is wave one, as you can see, all base. Very cool, though, to see all these. Let's keep it moving. Wave two, I think. Yep, there is wave two. Back out again, knife. There we go. <laughs> Back where you came from, knife. Wave two. I can't remember who is the best one we're looking for in this. Jeter is in one of these. Might be wave two or three. I think Tatis is in another. You'll see. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. If I can, there we go. And it looks like I got another red back there to finish it off. I think these are all base yet again. Like I said, these are going to be really tough. Yep, there's Tatis. Really tough to hit parallels out of and no autos. Tatis, Griffey, very nice as well. We'll definitely start putting these all up on top. I can fit a ton of them up here since they're so small. Shohei Otani, Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a pretty cool shot of him as well. Definitely put him on. Uh, Warren Spawn, one of the greats. Why not? Al Kaline, RIP, sir. Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn, Reggie Jackson. That's pretty cool. Oakland A's. Uh, Clayton Kershaw, now World Series champ. KB for the PC. Shout out to Jag. Nolan Ryan, Ryan Express. Polar Bear and Luis Robert's second year card. <laughs> it's weird to say for sure. Uh oh, hitting the camera. Look out now. Stay put. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Wave three. 
Another appearance by Knife. Come on, there we go. May as well just put Knife right on over there. Wave three, and then we'll get to the rookie class. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, this one must have Jeter, I'm assuming. If wave four has all the rookies, a little bit of shrapnel down there. Let's see what we can get. Not sure so far. Man, might need some last pack mojo here for sure to save us. There is Jeet starting us off. Number one. Put him on up top. Cody B. Not bad. The big hurt for the White Sox. Mike Piazza. Uh, Max. Mad Max Scherzer. Pretty cool. Johnny Bench. One of the greatest catchers of all time. If not the greatest. Phil Rizzuto. Uh, Ozzy the Wizard Smith. Jacob DeGrom. Have a ton of him. JV. When will he return? Yelly. Uh, Nolan Arenado now on the Cardinals, and Ernie Banks wraps that pack up again. No parallels. Three down. <laughs> Final wave. Wave four. Can I hit a parallel in one of these? Man, these are brutal. But at least we'll see the rookie cards. Finally get a Cleveland card as well out of this one. Uh, so yeah, I did. <laughs> I did look over the checklist correctly. Only one Cleveland card total out of here. It's crazy. Still waiting on them to come out with one for a Project 7070 as well, or 7070. Project 70! They did not come out with one for Project 20. Uh, those names are already determined, so we will see who the first is for Project 70. Here we go, let's see if we got any kind of parallels. Mookie starting us off, and there is the only PC hit. Bob Feller. Very cool to get him. Definitely got to put him on down below. Why not? <laughs> Jackie Robinson again. Why not? Uh, Aaron Judge again. We're putting everyone down. Bryce Harper is the last one. Ichiro. I guess I didn't do it for Bryce though. <laughs> Hammer and Hank. Uh, Garrett Cole next up for the Yanks. And here we go. Alec Bohm next up. The first rookie card that we will have out of here. Casey Mize rookie card. Not bad at all as well. Joey Bart. Uh oh People are starting to come down. There we go. Right up a little bit. Getting messy. <laughs> Joey Bart is the next rookie. Joe Adele after that. And do we have anything? Anything at all? We do not. They are all base cards. <laughs> oh, man. Joe Adele and Dylan Carlson. There you go. There is everything from the 1951 Blake Jameson set. Lots of good stuff. If you're rookie hunting, I would definitely say go after Wave 4 for sure. Uh, otherwise... You know, look for the players that you like, look for the teams you like, and go after that wave or just buy the singles. All right, well, that's going to wrap up today's video of Tops Tuesday with the complete set waves one through four of 1951 Tops by Blake Jameson. Let me know what you thought of the polls and the card and the set and the art down below in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. I definitely like this. I'll have to look it over later and see which ones I'm going to send off to PSA, which ones I'm going to just keep myself. We'll see. <laughs> All right, and as always, some of these cards will be listed in my eBay store at some point in the near future, which you can find in the description box below. And while you're down there, if you already have not, I'd also greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, continue staying safe out there. Take care. See you all next time. Yeah.